what's going on guys welcome back to another video today I got an awesome trick for you uh, this trick is a pretty cool effect but um, it takes a little bit of practice so um, definitely practice this a lot and you'll be able to amaze people so um, let's go ahead and give the deck just a quick shuffle a couple cuts just like this alright and then um, an overhand shuffle just like this okay wow I'm dropping cards everywhere Okay, so look, um, I want you to see I've got the two jacks over there, but um, we're just not going to really pay attention to them quite yet. So I'm going to have you go ahead and just um, choose choose a card. That card was really bent. Okay, so let's um, say you went like um, right here. All right, here's your card. Got it? Okay, uh, very good. We'll go ahead and put it into the pack right here, into the pack right here. Now, look, I'll show you. Um, uh, we can go ahead and give the deck just one cut, just like this, and then um, maybe a couple cuts, just like this. All right, um, and then we can go ahead and give it just a quick uh, riffle shuffle, just like this. All right, uh, maybe one more time. Uh, we can go ahead and give it an overhand shuffle, then another overhand shuffle, just like that. All right. So I'm gonna try and have the jacks find your cards. So I will have both jacks like this, and I'm gonna ready three, two, one. So look, the jacks didn't find a card, but watch. If I tell them that your card was a seven of clubs, I think now they should be able to find no other card than the seven so of clubs. So a couple things to know for this trick. Um, this trick is a little bit knacky. Um, I actually had to re-record this video once um, just because I accidentally um, caught more cards than uh, just the two jacks. So um, it is a little bit knacky sometimes, but if you do it properly, then um, you will succeed so um, before we get into the actual trick I just want to teach you that move so um, look at the bottom card on your deck for me it's the two of diamonds um, put one jack on top and one jack on bottom but here's the, you're gonna out jog that jack and so you can just see the pip now your finger is gonna contact right on the edge right here see how it's like the split between the card you're gonna contact both cards there and then you're gonna throw over like that alright so this move you just need to have courage with um, uh, the first couple times I tried it, I threw the cards everywhere. Um, so what you can do to practice um, just catching those cards is do that. Um, and you don't even have to, you can do that in the trick if you want it. Um, I like just the effect of like um, having the card right here and then just bang. Um, and then, you know, that's a pretty cool effect. But let me go over it in a little bit more detail. So what you're going to do is your wrist is going to come back. And basically the cards are going to fly out of your hand, but you're putting enough pressure on the top two cards that um, just those two cards plus the card beneath which you're contacting comes out. Now watch, let me show you something that could happen. I don't know if I can do it right now, but um, uh, okay, that was that was a good one. Um, so let me see here. Let me see if I can. Um, okay, so um, you could have something like this happen where you catch way more than one card. If this happens, just go ahead and you know that this bottom card here is the two. So go ahead and just put those guys on top then just put these two on the bottom. You don't even have to talk about it. And then what you can do is just give it a false cut. Um, so I'm kind of assuming you know how to do a false cut because that's kind of like a staple in magic. But um, you got the two on the bottom again and you can just redo it. So um, that works too, but um, just go ahead and do that and um, make sure you learn how to do that. All right, so let's get into the move. So what you're going to do is grab both red jacks just like so. Um, you can give the deck a shuffle. It's impromptu. doesn't matter. Um, just like this, alright? Now, in the trick, I used a move known as the Allerton Control. Alright, I'll show you your card. Bang, just like that. And then you put it in the deck, and of course, it's right here. So, um, this move is really... Mm, it's not super beginner. It's kind of angle sensitive. I would suggest you learn something else other than that control. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go over the double undercut. Um, so you have them choose a card. Bang. Um, you put it in the deck just like this. Alright, you're controlling it to the top, by the way. Push down, then up, catch your break, cut one half from that break. So, you've got your break right here, pull off one half. You're going to pull off, so this top card right here is their card, and pull off the second half, alright, just like that. So, I'll show you, nine of spades goes right here. I'm going to put it into the deck, push in and down, just like that, so you have your break. And then go one half, then one half, and you've got your nine back on top. So we have a tutorial on this, definitely go check it out, it's in our Basics of Card Magic series, so go look that up um, if you want to learn how to do that, and you can use a different control if you know how to do that. So basically get their card to the top, nine of spades, 
then control it to the bottom. Um, and the trick I did another double undercut, just the standard one, um, to get the card to the bottom. Um, which again, that is taught in the video. Or I'll just teach you this really quick one, the overhand shuffle one. Basically, all you do is if you know how to do an overhand shuffle, it's really easy. Just pull off the first card as one, um, and then just deal the rest of the cards on top, just like that, as if you're doing a normal one. And I'm kind of bad at the overhand shuffle. I'm um, just kind of because I have four fingers and I can't exactly hold the cards correctly in my right hand, so um, that would be why I can't do it all very well. That's kind of why I dropped all the cards um, in the performance. So, anyhow, um, you got their card controlled. You can do a riffle shuffle. For example, whenever I perform for my mom, she's always is never convinced unless I do a riffle shuffle. Um, so yeah, you you can do that. Um, but you have to remember you you cannot um, you can't go like this and then flash that nine. Um, you need to um, you need to do something like this. So you're pointing towards yourself, and then you're doing it. All right, and then you can do the shuffle. So um, again, you can just do another one. I just did it there. I, it doesn't really matter because um, I'm just showing you guys. But you get the idea. Control it to the bottom. So now comes that move. Um, so you grab the two cards, you have your thumb on the split part right you have your pointer finger on the split part right here, holding the deck like, uh, this, uh, just with these two fingers and your fingers on the slit there. And then, um, you can just go ahead and throw it in your other hand. You can do the patter if you want. You can say, um, okay, we're going to try this the first time. You can just square it up like that and don't put pressure. And be like, okay, we didn't catch it that time. Um, then you can... I'll jog the card and then do it this time and then show the nine of spades. So guys that's the trick. Hopefully you enjoyed. Definitely leave a like and subscribe down below. Um and definitely comment too because we're trying um to see what tricks you guys wanna see um and so we can perform those. So definitely comment down below and um yeah with that I'll see you all in the next video.